And we are back. It's one of the most storied promotions in all fight sports, and now it's coming to Spike. In a world, K1 and Spike are joining forces. That's right. Bringing you four events in 2012, starting with the U.S. Grand Prix Championship, which you can watch this Saturday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, streaming live on k-1.spike.com. By the way, there are some tickets still available for that card, and it's at the L.A. Sports Arena. And then next year, K1 events will be shown live right here on Spike TV, which is very exciting for us and the Spike family and for all of you fight fans. And Nate, you're going to be ringside. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be in L.A. watching my very first K-1 and mark that off the bucket list. And I get to see one of my favorite fighters of all time, Rick the Jet Rufus. The guy is like a combination of iron and leather. He's just unbelievable. Uh, Seth Petra, uh, I always, Petrozelli. Uh, Petrozelli. He's making his K-1 debut. Uh, Kid Cope is back. It's going to be a great show. You're pumped. Nate hasn't been this pumped since Comic-Con, by the way. What do you think? That's a lot. He was pretty pumped. You know, listen, I think they were asking, can K-1 and can kickboxing be successful in America? And the answer is that no one really knows, but and the K-1 thing didn't really get going with the initial U.S. attempt. I think this is probably its best chance about getting the spike band behind it. The, the combat sports fans are here. We'll see. It's an open question. They have to, you know, replenish that badly depleted roster, but it's possible. Oh, that's great. I love MMA, obviously. It's given me everything, but in MMA, you can always lose by getting a tap out, you get knocked out, or, or choked out. But in K1, when you leave that ring, it's due to major body trauma. These are going to be great fights. Time now for us to go around the world of MMA.